Hi kids, my name is Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us. And actually, if you're watching this, you may just be painting with us. You may be an adult. Oh. You may be zero to 99. Yes. So this is our favorite program that we do as a company. It's called Let's Make Art Matter. So if you are a subscriber to any of your boxes, go and grab a postcard that is addressed on the back and it'll have a stamp on it. Now, if you're a part of our watercolor adult box, you'll have a different card, I just realized, as I said this. But if you're a kid one, yours is going to be blank. And this month, you are painting this cool little postcard that's blank, and we're gonna make this cool little pie together. Uh, ooh. And so you may be thinking, wait, Nicole, I already made a pie. You did, and we one of our projects in this box is a pie. So we're gonna do a smaller one and make it into a card. So the cool thing about Let's Make Art Matter is that you are making art for someone else. And isn't that special? So special. It's so cool to be able to do something that you made with your own hands and giving it to someone and say, hey, I care about you. You are so kind to me. You're gonna make this for someone who maybe someone who makes you dinner or plays with you on the playground. Just someone you wanna say, hey, I was thinking of you. Thanks for being my friend. Thanks for making me that pumpkin pie that one time when I was eight. <laughs> yes. So, you are going to be drawing and painting with me today. So, we have our supplies all out. We're using our watercolors. We have our palette. Oh, my cup of water needs to be closer to me. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a pencil. And I'm going to teach you how we're going to draw this. So, it's the same steps what we used in our pie one, which is down there. But what we're gonna do is the first step is we're gonna draw the bottom part of actually our crust. So of your big triangle. So draw in the middle somewhere is draw a horizontal line across. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw a line coming up. So this is this top part right here or the side. So you're gonna start down here and you're gonna go kind of diagonal up like that. And then to connect it, actually, what I want you to do is I want you to draw a wavy line like this. Boom. Okay, now the next step is, is we're going to draw this part of our pie. So you get to decide how thick is yours. You're the chef here. So is your pie really big? I like that. Is it really skinny? So you're gonna draw another horizontal line, however thick you want your crust and you're gonna go across. Now, let's make this a rectangle and connect and draw two vertical lines. Then the next step is, I think there might, I, if you watched our crust tutorial, I'm gonna change this step a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is I want you to draw another line at the bottom, and this is for the bottom of our crust. So this is the juicy good part, and mm. then this is the crust, which actually I really like crust too. I do too, as I get older, same with Oreos. <laughs> the outside of Oreos instead of the inside? Mm-hmm. Mm, yes. So I want you to draw another horizontal line across. And then what we're gonna do is let's draw it coming up on the side. So again, this is still the crest because the crest goes on the outside like that. And then let's come up here and you're gonna come up and we're gonna draw this curved part. So crest, it comes up and again, it's curved and wavy and then connect. And then this is hanging off right here, so I need to connect that right there. And guess what? You did it! Easy as pie. <laughs> Literally. One, like two, that. pie. <laughs> so if you wanna do the same thing as we did in our big tutorial, which is right here, I'm gonna grab this so you can see. This is what we did. So if you haven't done this yet, when you're done with this, go and do this project. It's a really, really fun one. So you can draw a plate on yours. You can make it, maybe make it daytime this time. But I'm just gonna leave it simple. And then I want to paint it. So first I'm going to use, because this is a really small painting, I have a smaller brush, so I'm gonna use my smaller one. Now, I want to actually start with, Keenan. do you want me to start with the crust or the goodness part? The goodness. Okay, let's start with the goodness. So, you get to decide what kind of pie you want. So maybe, hmm, there's so many different kinds. Let's, let's give some ideas. Pumpkin. 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 Blueberry. Pumpkin. <laughs> Raspberry. Pumpkin. <laughs> Key lime. Ooh, pumpkin. <laughs> Apple. <laughs> <laughs> or 
if you heard us in our last one, we were saying you can make, um, Ella had a firework idea. Yeah. You can make birthday cake pie. Peanut, Just make it up. Peanut butter and jelly pie. Yes, that was another one. Peanut butter and jelly time. <laughs> so we're going to paint this first one. So on this one, what I'm doing is I'm going to do like what Ella did in our tutorial is I'm going to make this whole part the crust. So just this part is going to be our juicy goodness stuff. So if you have our color mixing guide, you can pick whatever color you want. So if I'm going to do a blueberry pie, I'm going to use this deep blue and then I'm going to make this violet. So to do that is I'm going to do two drops of magenta. So one, two, and then two drops of blue because magenta and blue make purple. Purple. Or violet. It's another way to say purple. Violet. Boom. Okay, so there's one color and then I'm going to use blue. So again, you are making your own color of what you want to do. But when you're looking at this, do you see how it's not just one solid color? I don't know if you can tell. Hmm, but what of. I'm going to do, kind of, right? Yeah, kind of mixed of. together. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with one color. So this one I'm going to start with my blue. And I'm going to paint this part. If you want to make a really light blue, you add water. So I'm painting this. Ooh, that kind of spread apart. Now. Ooh, that was pretty. That looks cool. So many cool things happen with watercolors. You never know what you're going to get. Now. There's the blue. What I want to do is I'm going to swish my brush in my water because I'm going to switch colors and then I'm going to go and pick up a little bit of purple and while it's wet, I'm actually, so we also have done color explosion. So you can do that or I want to kind of try to see if I just draw circles, what happens? Ooh, that's a good idea. So I'm drawing circles and it, because it's wet, so it's called wet on wet. Those look like little blueberries. Right? Yes. Yay. Okay, cool. So I'm just drawing circles and because it's wet, the paint is exploding into it. So it's so much fun. Okay, so there's our goodness. Now the next step is, is we're going to paint our crust. So. For this, I'm just going to use my brown. So we have a sepia, which is a brown. Now, if you don't have brown, you can mix the three primary colors and you might get somewhat of a brown. So you can try that out too. So I put my brown out on my palette. Now, here's the thing, whenever you paint, do you see how this is really wet? Yes. If you don't want your colors to blend into each other, so if you look at this one, mine kind of blended into each other, then I would take a snack break and wait. Hmm. Now, if you like that look, which I do too, then go ahead and paint. I just want you to know that that, may, that might happen, but we love that too. We love all this. We do. We love anything paint and creative. <laughs> yes. So I'm just going to paint my crest brown. Now, when I paint, sometimes there's different ways to hold your breast. I don't talk about this very much, but so sometimes some people hold them really close like this and it's easier for them to hold it. It might be easier for you to hold it a little bit looser. There's no right or wrong way. What you feel comfortable with is what you're gonna do. Just want you to know that. I like to hold it different ways every once in a while that I'm not used to just to see what it feels like. Hmm, it's a good idea. Just kind of explore, yeah. you know? Okay, so now there's my brown. And here's something that I want to experiment with this. So on some crusts, they have, it kind of looks like X's. So there's some lines that go like this and some lines that go like this. Yes. You know what I'm talking about, right? I do. You know how they do that? Do they cut them into strips and then lay them on top Correct. and leave them? Yes. Yeah. Nailed it. First try. <laughs> so I actually want to see what it looks like if I take my brown and because this is wet, what if we paint stripes or strips along it? And then we do it like this too. You can kind of see it. And it may just blend together, but because it's wet, so it's just kind of blending in together. So that's just a fun thing to try. Okay, so now the next part is, is we are going to let this fully dry. So now this is really a snack break. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna add our words here and then write a message on the back. 
So we're gonna take a quick snack break and let this fully dry, and then I'll meet you back to do that. Welcome back from snack break. <laughs> so we let our painting fully dry, and so did you. And as we let it dry, Keenan and I were talking because my cake or my crust is really dark, I realize. And then we were like, oh. Chocolate blueberry <laughs> pie. We're just gonna say it's a chocolate pie. Yeah, chocolate pie. Chocolate blueberry pie. So yours might be dark like mine too, or yours might be lighter, but that's the fun thing. Ours are all different. So the next step is, is I want you to grab any markers or crayons that you have and pick a color. And you are going to write a, you can write anything actually, but on this one I wrote, you are sweet as pie. I thought that was kind of clever and cool. Totally. So I want to show you just one quick thing, is when you are writing it, write your word. So maybe I'll write my phrase. What else can they write? Can you give them some other ideas, Keenan? Hmm. You are my pie of the season. <laughs> Yeah, because they're, they're, they're the ones that you're choosing. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. My sweetie pie. Sweetie pie. <laughs> I actually, so I did this on the other one where I just switched colors because I wrote pie in a different color because I felt like it. Ooh, so. You could ask them if they want to be your sweetie pie. Oh. Can you be my sweetie pie? <laughs> oh, if you gave us to your grandma and said that. That would make. Or if you give so it to sweet. your grandma and say, I am your sweetie ah, pie. Good call. Because, <laughs> and on the back you can say, I know who your favorite is. <laughs> so one fun thing that I like to do with letters is that, do you see the difference between this one and this one? Can you tell me? Yes. What is it? it took me a second. Really? Yeah, because it's, it's farther away than it normally is. Oh, okay. So it's hard for me right now. What's the difference? I Tell would us. say that on your letters on the left, uh -huh. you have dots on the ends of your letters. Yes. Also so just, known as wheels. Wheels. Kayla likes to call them wheels. But that's just a fun thing to add to your letters. So to do that is the end of all of your letters. So you're just going to add a dot like this. Isn't that fun? It just adds a little something, something to your letters. Maybe I'll do it to the pie, too. So you get to decorate your card like that. Then, on the back, what I want you to do is you are going to find out, ask a grown-up for the address of who you want to give this to, or if it's someone that you know, you can just give it to them. Mm. But the cool thing is that there will be a stamp on the back, which means it goes in the mailbox, and then it travels with the mailman, the kind mail carriers, and it'll go into the recipient's house, whoever you're sending it to. And then they're going to be so touched by your yummy, beautiful pie that you made and it'll be awesome. So this is, again, our Let's Make Art Matter where you get to impact someone else. And it's so cool to be kind. So thank you for painting with me and always remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative. And we'll see you next time. Bye.